Sei sempre che un punto di cammino e ci sta via Non mangi più, non dormi più che per contrire Quei piccioli che vengono a dire sta gelosia Tu vuoi soffrire, tu vuoi morire, chi tu fa va? Corri in braccia a tua mamma, non vuoi scemo piccioli Dille tutta la verità, la mamma te può capire. My childhood was mostly a blissful haze, of which I don't remember a huge amount of detail, which people say indicates a happy childhood, or perhaps it's just my kind of brain. We had a nice house at 88 Prince's Way, where I remember we had a lot of play fights. My father was always doing play fights, and he was clearly an actor monke. In fact, he'd been offered a role as an actor and decided not to pursue that route. I was conscious clearly that my father had had a very dramatic life and knew things had happened to him in the war or knew that he was a very unusual man. I mean, that much was clear to anyone meeting him. Within, you know, seconds that here was someone so extraordinary that no one would leave with a neutral impression of him. He would enter a room and command the room, whoever was there. He was always the focus of attention at any gathering. I don't really remember exactly how and when I learned of my father's full history. I wasn't properly aware of the entire details of my father's life story till I read the draft of his book, which was while I was at university in the late 70s. No admito en este libro cosas que van en contra de mí, que me dijeron allá en Inglaterra en la... It was a powerful and hard-hitting account. My father revealed himself here to be a survivor not just of the Holocaust, but the Soviet camps. In fact, one of the 20th century's most remarkable escapers and survivors. This is a dedication which is very hard for me to my saint mother, which died in normal circumstances. Fifty years after the death of my mother, she always lived to me. And that is the reason mostly which I've come to this place. It's very hard for me to talk about that. I am a man of age and not very strong, but I feel I have to speak to this stone. Now I'm speaking to you, ma'am. 